Today is Monday, November 18th. Welcome to this week's episode of The Tribe. This week, we'll be bringing you a tribe topper on the upcoming winter sports. I'm Brandon with this week's sports. What's up, I'm Jamie with the weather. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Dartmouth High, and welcome to the ninth edition of The Tribe. We're your host, I'm Alex Mathis. And I'm Manu Patel. If you or anyone you know would like to sponsor our awesome program, simply go to DonorsChoose.org and search Mr. Parati to donate to our classroom. Now for this week's announcements. Congratulations, Marching Band, who won first place at the U.S. Band's national competition at MetLife Stadium in New Jersey. They won with the highest score of 98.575. This is their fourth year in a row, and their hard work and dedication has paid off. Congratulations. <coughs> Calling all gamers. Display your expertise, hone your skills, explore new frontiers every Thursday at the New Game Club from 2.30 to 3.30 in room C12. Come and play commu computer games, card games, and tabletop games of all kinds. For more information, please contact Mr. Bedard in room C10. Spirit Week Food Drive. Bring in non-perishable foods to donate to the needy in our community. Place donations in your class barrels in the main hallway or in the boxes in your advisor's rooms. The class with the most donations will be awarded for Spirit Week. If you support our area food pantries, your class will gain points for Spirit Week. Color Guard Tryouts will be held at Dartmouth High School on Tuesday, November 19th and Thursday, November 21 from 6 to 9 p.m. Please wear athletic attire and bring water. Hope to see you there. Here are this year's Spirit Week events. On November 21st, we'll be having Pajama Day, which is sponsored by the freshman class. Wear your most comfortable and school-appropriate pajamas. On November 22nd, it's Character Day. Sponsored by the sophomore class, dressed as her favorite character. On November 25th, it's Red, White, and Blue Day, sponsored by the junior class. Show your school pride by dressing in red, white, and blue. On the 26th, Sports Team and Jersey Day, sponsored by the senior class, dressed in the colors and or jersey of your favorite sports team. All students will attend a Thanksgiving breakfast with their class and will attend the Thanksgiving Day game pep rally. I'm Paul Loops, and I'm here with Miss Fitzgerald. What's your favorite part of Spirit Week? Uh, my favorite part of Spirit Week is seeing all the staff and students dressed up and showing um, Dartmouth High spirit. The spirit of Spirit Week, all right? The excitement, the pageantry, it's just one big spirit, all right? And I'm definitely feeling the love for Spirit Week. Definitely the pep rally, because the games are fun, and it's ex it's exciting to get loud and obnoxious with my grade. Nice. I'll have to agree, getting rowdy at the pep rally, it's just, you know, it's a thrill. Spirit Week, it's just, it's a really fun week, because we all get to dress up, we get to participate and actually show school spirit in some way, even if it's just like a bunch of ridiculous outfits. And it only tends to lead up to a pep rally, which overall just makes for a very fun week. My favorite part about Spirit Week is definitely the pep rally. 
Uh, but this year I'm very excited about the junior classes fundraiser that we're having and I can't wait to see what's going to happen. I love all the dress up days, but this year I'm really excited because these guys have been working so hard to organize a Spirit Week fundraiser. So I'm really looking forward to ice bucket challenges and head shaving at the pep rally for the first time ever if we meet our fundraising goals. So we're hoping we can support, support that effort and have the best pep rally ever this year. Yeah. yeah. Um, as long as kids donate money, they get to see more and more happen to their teachers. So I would just say keep donating and the more you get to see more. We're going to be collecting at all three lunch shifts, so make sure you, we're going to be walking around with buckets, so make sure you pay. You can also donate money during Pace if you don't want to donate during lunch. Come see Miss Brittingham during Pace if you want to make donations. <laughs> Why? Why am I shaving my eyebrows and dyeing them green? That's because I care about students here at Dartmouth High School. Juniors have challenged me to do something to help them raise money for their class. And so that's why I've agreed to do this. What am I actually doing? I am going to, right here at the arches, shave this part of my eyebrows. I'm going to then color them green. I'm actually going to bling them out with some rhinestones. Huh? And add cuts. Kayla Medeiros is going to help me out, and this is all inspired by Gavin Pilling. This is actually not my first time stepping out of my comfort zone to raise money for a good cause. When I was the assistant principal at Greater New Bradford Vogue Tech, I agreed to be arrested and bailed out by my students to raise money for the Muscular Dystrophy Association. We actually raised $1,800. You, on the other hand, are trying to get me to do this to raise $3,500. I mean, double, right? Dartmouth High School, go big, go home. It's up to you, Dartmouth High. Are you going to get me to shave my eyebrows and color them green for Spirit Week? It's all on you. You, you won't. Let's go to this week's lunch schedule, followed by the weather. November 18th, Monday, Southern Style Chicken and Waffles, Chicken Tenders, Belgium Waffle Sticks, and some syrup with crispy <laughs> oven fries. And fruit! Tuesday, November 19th, Build Your Own, Beef Burrito, Fajita Chicken, Brown Rice and Beans, Lettuce, Tomato and Cheese, and Sour Cream. Oh. And fruit. There's not going to be lunch uh, on Wednesday. For Thursday, November 21st, we got Soaring Dragon, which is General Tso's chicken, orange chicken, fried rice, steamed broccoli, fortune cookies, and pineapple chunks. And fruit. <laughs> Friday, November 22nd, classic Stromboli, roasted vegetables, and juicy jello. And fruit. Yo, 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 what up, Dartmouth High? It's Jamie Mata with the weather. Monday, cloudy, high of 50, low of 39. Tuesday, showers with a high of 50, low of 38. Wednesday, we got partly cloudy with a high of 53 and a low of 36. Thursday, we got partly cloudy with a high of 51 and a low of 36. Also, on Friday, showers with a 52 and a low of 37. Jamie Mata, back to the boys in the studio. Thank you, Jamie, for that nice weather outlook. And now for our top story. We talked to some winter athletes, asking them about the upcoming season. Uh, I'm Jared Morin, and I played for the basketball team at Dartmouth High. Uh, I'm Alex Mathis. I do track and field for the high school. More specifically, I throw shot put in the winter. I'm Erin. I'm Lauren, and we're on the girls' basketball team. <laughs> Hi, I'm Angelo Nicolosi, and I play for Dartmouth High School. I play on the hockey team. My name's Jaden. My name's Eric Vieira, and we play for the boys' basketball high school team. Uh, I've been playing for the basketball team since freshman year. I started out on the freshman team and then sophomore year I was on JV and last year I played varsity. 
Okay, we've both been playing basketball since we were in like third grade. Uh, I actually started throwing shot put my freshman year. This is going to be my seventh total season of shot put, including winter and spring track. Um, I'm the captain of the hockey team this year. I've been playing since I was born. I came out the womb with a hockey stick and a Canadian accent, born ready to play the game. <laughs> I've been playing basketball for around 14 years since uh, elementary school. I've been playing basketball for around 14 years as well, and I've been playing all out through high school since freshman year. Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to my senior year. Uh, obviously, we had a little bit of a rougher season last year, and we have some injuries, but that just means kids have to step up, and I'm looking forward to having a good season with the boys. I think the team is looking pretty strong this year, so I'm really excited to see what happens. Uh, yeah, we're getting most of our returning players from last year. Like I think there's six seniors, so we should have a strong season this year. This upcoming season, I'm very excited. I feel like we didn't play as well as we wanted to last year, and I think this is a great year to just redeem ourselves. And uh, we've had the team before go uh, undefeated in spring track. So if we just carry that same fire that we had uh, a year ago in spring, I think we could definitely make a nice run. We have all the tools. We have a great shot put team this year. We're really looking to win relays. Um, we have some great runners. I'm ready to score some points, win some games, go to the playoffs, and win the state championship. I'm ready for anything right now. For this upcoming season, I'm looking for some nice dubs for the squad. For this upcoming season, I'm looking to win some basketball games and make some noise in the playoffs, maybe. Let's go! Let's head over to Brennan for a sports update. Yo, what up? It's Brennan. I'm going to be providing you with the sports updates today. Uh, Dartmouth horked on DR 19-16. Uh, sadly, Dartmouth Volleyball had a terrific season, 21-0, lost to Oliver Ames in the playoffs. And girls lost in the playoffs as well, 1-2 to two, to the Mustangs. And boys soccer lost to Milford, 0-2 to two, in the playoffs against Milford. Back to you boys in the studio. Thank you, Brennan. Let's tune in to see who's this week's GOAT. I am beyond excited to be the goat. Of all animals, I want to be the goat. Um, I am in charge of helping students to graduate, create post-secondary plans so they're prepared upon high school graduation for the adult world, and to make sure you have a good time while you're in high school. Well, let's see. I think every day is crazy. Um, so I really, I don't know, because I think everything I do every day is wild, so I can't really name one thing. I did get locked in at a lockdown once with um, students who didn't speak English. That was very interesting. We made the best of it. Uh, we communicated <laughs> via Google Translate. Mrs. Cronin did a few headstands. That was pretty wild. This is the best shop ever, so if anyone's thinking of getting into this field, I... Uh, pretty much for the most part I get to make my own schedule I get to meet all kinds of students I throw huge parties every year um, for Miss KP's class I've been to Texas with the Air Force I have been to Paris Island with the Marines um, I've taken kids on field trips um, but I feel like the best part of my job is getting to know students outside of the classroom and how great they are Great question. So you have to have a master's degree in uh, education counseling or a related field. And then you sit for the first two parts of the teacher's test. Um, and then you just have to prove that you're competent. Uh, it's usually an internship and some they base it on your experience. But it is super fun. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. It's been a marvelous show with you, DHS, and Team Greenlight. Green light! Special thank you to Betty Raposo and Jennifer Perotti for donating to our Donors Choose program. Punch that subscribe button. 
subscribe. And subscribe. And cheese. And dab. Subscribe. <laughs> subscribe. <laughs>